Welcome to my studio today. Oh my goodness. Um, is this Emperor 21 Don Houston? Oh yeah, so I'm Emperor 21 Don Houston of the Imperial Sovereign Court of All Connecticut, and this is my co-host. Um, Emperor 22, um, Don Houston's emperor son, um, which is a very scary thought, um, but I've had to live with it the entire year. Um, but I'm the current reigning emperor of the <laughs> Imperial Sovereign Court of All Connecticut, Emperor 22 Vu, and you are joining us for Painting with the Emperors. Yes. Um, so how did this start, Don? So way back last March, uh, when the pandemic hit suddenly and everything was closed down, we couldn't do events anymore. So I decided like, hey, what if I just do like a, a paint and sip basically from my studio and we raise money for charity um, by like buying shots for the emperor or donating directly to the Venmo or um, what else? Or auctioning off the painting at the end. Yes. Um, so I just want to say hello to my beautiful, amazing, talented, lovely Empress, Miss Frank, um, who is watching right now. Hi, Empress, Miss Frank. And so this is hello. part one of a two part series. Um, because, you know, the Empress has had to get in on the action, too. So we just wanted to let you know that on Thursday night, you can join us again here on the Facebook or YouTube of the Imperial Sovereign Court of All Connecticut. And you um, can join Monarch 20 Kiki Lucia and Empress 22 Miss Frank for painting with the Empresses, where they are going to grab um, a community member that is very well known, and they are going to paint their faces. So we're painting canvas tonight. They're going to paint some faces. Um, and it's going to be a really great time. Um, this yeah. is a fundraiser for the Imperial Sovereign Court of All Connecticut. Um, so if you would like to donate throughout the evening, you can go ahead and do so. Um, we accept Venmo donations at CT Imperial Court. And you can also go to ctimperialcourt.org slash donate and do it that way. You can use PayPal or any major credit card through that website. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, $20. Is that, your, get, is, that uh, your phone, is, it, is that your phone ringing, Don? Oh, yes. I think I hear someone calling. Who could it be? Oh, oh, who could it be? Oh, my goodness. Hello. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's Emperor 14. Emperor 2013. Give it a name. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to see if I can get a lighthouse. Is there going to be a lighthouse, Don? Perhaps. Perhaps. Right now, the canvas is very dark. Well, kind of like your mind, but that's all right. Yeah, Don, what's up with the pre-painted canvas? Like, this has never happened before. Explain it's that. It's happened before. Um, well, I just wanted to, like, do wet on wet for once. You know, prima, prima, what, whatever it's called. <clears throat> oh, you want to do wet on wet for once? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is your first time doing wet on wet, Don? Um, no, I've done wet on wet much bigger, uh, much longer, lots of wet on wet. <laughs> but today I'm showing you on camera for free. Okay. Um, on this camera, at least, for free. Um, for the other ones, you can go and you can see a different kind of wet on wet, but we'll leave that at that. Um, hey, Gregory from Las Vegas. I'm wishing Hello. you very well on your step down this upcoming weekend in Las Vegas. Um, so um, congratulations on your year. I know raining this year has been interesting, to say the least. We've been doing the same thing here in Connecticut. Um, so enjoy every moment and just shout out to Las Vegas on an amazing coronation weekend, and we hope you all the best. Yeah. That is a fun, fun ball. That is a great ball. Wonderful. Party. I mean, it's a fun city. Oh, God, yeah. Um, Frank says, hello, Father. Yes, hello, Frank. Yes, <laughs> I am here. Um, Bella Rose also says, hello, Dad. Um, Trevor, how many kids do you have watching the show right now? Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I let me rephrase that. How many Reynolds are there? That's very mm -hmm. shorter than Deluxe's or Alexander's or um, St. James's. We can add them all up. There, there are like, I think, five. Less than five. That's that's probably the, the top um, male line children, though. I feel like not a lot of us emperors have kids. Yes. So I, think, right. <laughs> I think you're the one. Yeah. Um, so we are doing an initiative tonight. Um, if you were at the last painting with the Monarchs, um, that was myself, Don, and Frank. Um, you saw me um, get um, 
very, very inebriated, which is not going to happen tonight because I've learned lessons. I have Texas toast um, right here, um, and there's going to be um, smarter drinking tonight. Um, but we do have an initiative. Um, you can buy an Emperor drink for $20, or you can buy a round for $50, and then you can share the love and we'll all drink. Um, so some of us will be doing shots. Some of us will be doing a little bit of chugging. Um, so... You can, if you're doing one drink for $20, you just put the name of the person you want it to go to in the comments. And our amazing treasurer, Kate Reynolds, is going to be watching the Venmo and PayPal for us. And then she's going to be letting us know when we have to drink. Um, so, yeah, definitely um, buy us a drink. I mean, I'm here um, with Don Houston and Trevor's here with Don Houston. So buy me and Trevor drinks because we're, we're going to need it. But Don, tell us what we're doing today. What are you painting? So we're, I'm going to do a seascape again. But it's going to be very uh, impressionist looking, very um, deep and textured um, from all I've learned doing my MFA here at, at school. So, but again, we are raising money for charity. So you're not just buying us shots. You're buying, you're helping out the um, a place to nourish. You're helping out um, the New Haven Pride Center, and you're helping out um, the Connecticut chapter for suicide hotline and prevention. Um, so you're not just getting us drunk or getting us inebriated. <laughs> Go ahead, Don, with the with the rain beneficiaries. Go ahead, um, and I didn't even put up the, the 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 slide for you because I wanted to see if you knew them, but you got them I, all right on the right on the dot. Um, AP and H, a place to nourish your health. They're an amazing organization um, that started their work with the HIV AIDS community, but are now doing a lot more holistic health. <laughs> physical, spiritual, mind, body, and spirit. The New Haven Pride Center based in New Haven, a great community space. Um, they're doing also a lot of great virtual work with education and advocacy. They have a meal program. They have a clothing program, um, doing everything that they can to support our community. And then the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention Connecticut chapter, um, saving lives every single day through research, through support programs. So your money today, um, the net proceeds will be going to these three rain beneficiaries. So definitely buy us a drink or if you just want to give us money because you want to give us money, um, we are very happy with that too. All right. Well, shall we get started with the painting? Okay. Yes. A seascape needs a lighthouse. So that's at least three votes for a lighthouse, Don. <laughs> All right. Well, first we let's will win. Okay. So start off with why your background and why you picked those colors. Well, I, I wanted to go with brown and like subtle shades of brown because it like brings out every other color and makes it like versus a white canvas a brown canvas or a darker canvas brings out all the prettier shades of the colors so like if i add when i add magenta and light blue and orange it'll look that much more vibrant with a darker background at the same time contrast i like I it and as you know brown is a shade of red i did not know brown was a shade of red it is. you learned it's on the red scale did you know that brown was a shade of red, Trevor? No, I did not. Mm -hmm. See, we're already learning. We're already learning. Um, Don, I think the only thing that you need for this show is you need like an Afro puff, um, a la Bob Ross. <laughs> I think that'd be a great addition. <laughs> that would be awesome. I, I need to get one of those. First, we're adding um, some oranges over here. Mm-hmm. Are, the, is, are we seeing a sunset beginning to form? So here's the palette, though. If you're copying oh, yeah. at home, this is cerulean blue. This is Windsor blue. This is um, light blue. That's white. Um, that's brown mixed with another blue. Um, this is magenta. This is orange mixed with white. And then the white mixed with the magenta. This is sienna over here. Like it, Just in case you're following along. Is, is there like a test that you take in like the intro level on what the difference between yeah. cerulean and like aqua is? Well, aqua would have more slightly more green in it, while cerulean has slightly more red in it. So like blue is never really blue; it always has a shade of other colors in it. If that makes sense. Hmm. It's blue. It's pretty. <laughs> it's the sea. It's blue. Yeah, I agree with Trevor. <laughs> The only way I notice different colors is when my phone decides to do like that really cool enhancement of the photo where you put the filter on it and I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. The blue yeah. versus black dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my, like, what was that on Facebook? Was it the blue versus black or the gold versus a couple of years ago? I forget. But there was one people would argue over like what color the dress was. One nomination uh, for yeah, Shot yeah. for Vu. 
<laughs> um, I I can probably tell you that it came from my empress um because she's she's evil she's evil and I love her though love you Frank love you Frank you're wonderful um so um tonight um the emperor um we're going with screwball um it's um been chilling nicely in the fridge um and screwball is a peanut butter whiskey um, and the first person um, that gave me a shot of this was um, Empress Genuine Butte from Portland. Wow. Yes, and it's been a gold to ever since. Oh, I just realized that there was a comments thing over here. So I could see the comments. I didn't have to go onto Facebook to do that. <laughs> yes. It's like you have to be on Facebook to pay attention to it. Blonde hair, blonde hair, really well. Really true. Cheers, whoever mystery donor this is. Oh, Don, your wife is here. Oh, no. I mean, yay. <laughs> um, Trevor, where's your wife? She's the only one that's missing. Getting me Jersey Mike's for dinner. Oh. Uh, you see, Frank, Tallulah? I'm you just... see? I'm sure Don isn't getting Jersey Mike's delivered after this show. No, um, I'm, I'm pretty that. sure Frank's not showing up at my door with any Jersey Mike's. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a donation for a round. Um, you're gonna give me like oh, a no. minute. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do it in like oh. one minute. Um, this is not. You see, smarter, smarter. Um. Oh, it was from Kate. Of course, it was from Kate. Ugh. So it's coming together. Uh, There's a sunset ish. Oh, that was really quick, Don. Yeah. Whoa. Well, you, guys, you guys keep talking about subjects. You know, talk much yourself. Yeah. No, I'm gonna put you big screen. Because, oh, because yeah, there, this makes more sense. Yes, I mean you're the main action. I think um, me and Trevor are just here for for shade and commentary. Yeah, exactly. what we're doing. So, we so just another Tuesday. Just another Tuesday. Oh wait, so we have a we have one for us, right? A nomination. Yes, we have one for all of us. Yes, we can okay. go ahead. And so, that. I am drinking a fine local brewery, brewery Legitimus, out of New Hartford, Connecticut. And this is called Rage Against the Teddy Bear. Rage against, but why are we raging against the teddy bear? I mean, I, I love teddy bears. That's what I'd like to know. And it is a double New England IPA. And it is, um, oh boy, it's 7.8. So it's a kind of a bigger beer. Um, so it's just as much as if it were a shot. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Don. Don, what do you have in there? Oh, dang, that's good. Support local breweries, support local uh, distilleries, shop local. How's that? Um, Skip local. Shop local. I basically have um, a flyer for everything. So if you nice. mention things, I'll probably have a related event. So speaking of shop local, um, there is an amazing place down in Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's called the Black Rock Social House. They yeah. are a gay-owned small business. And um, we've started a great relationship with them this year, doing a drag bingo brunch the first Saturday of every month. Um, for January, it's going to be the second Saturday because the first Saturday is New Year's. So our next drag bingo brunch is going to be January 8th. You get a $20 bingo card and you get to play five games. And at the January brunch, one of the prizes for the last game is going to be tickets to our coronation ball. Um, so you definitely want to come um, check it out. Um, so you pay $20 for a card and you could win $240 worth of tickets. I mean, what could be better? And the food there is is beyond this world. They are gluten-free, but you would never know it. Um, they have um, the most amazing chicken and waffles, some great poutine, um, so a great place to enjoy a Saturday afternoon at the Black Rock Social House. <clears throat> Very nice. Okay. Um, you recently did a bingo brunch, didn't you, Trevor? No, I have not. I have not made it down there yet. That is one of my to-dos for the for uh, this call year. Him out. I'm sorry. Um, I, I call I'm... him out. Yes. <laughs> Uh, maybe it was a different bingo brunch. I feel like you did a different bingo event, maybe. No, we were supposed to do on Thursday, we were supposed to do a bingo for um, Chrysler's house. But unfortunately, things didn't work out right. So now we're postponing that till the new year and uh, trying to do it in the spring. And that's for Chrysler's house, which Chrysler's center, which 
absorb St. Philip House, mm -hmm. which was a longtime beneficiary of the court. Yeah. But um, but what but there's something else besides this Thursday painting with the empresses. There's also something going on this Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, right, Vil? Oh, wait, I have one. There you go. Bam. <laughs> yes. Is it ready? Kate, oh, there it is. Kate, George, and Mark are doing the Misfit Holiday Spectacular. Bring in a toy for Toys for Tots. There's going to be a great, great show. Um, we got a lot of some fantastic talent. I was on the on the. Um, I was on the uh, chat and seeing all the people that are going to be a part of some amazing performers. Uh, you're probably going to get some Christmas stuff. You're going to get, might get some Hanukkah stuff. You might get some surprises. Hold out for that. Um, it's going to be a great, great time. So looking forward to that. Yeah, and that's kind of a fusion event um, because we used to have Misfit Toys back when yep. we were in person before yep. the pandemic. And then last year we had the Holiday Spectacular virtually hosted by Mark and George. And so Kate's Misfit Toys and Mark and George's Holiday Spectacular, they are coming together this year. And I love both events, so yeah. it can't be anything but good. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. You you could oh. say it's a spectacular spectacular. <laughs> no words you in could. the vernacular. <laughs> you, you could, Don. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, Don, what are you painting? Let's stick to that. So now I'm just adding the magentas in the dark area to add, create texture. And this is supposed to be the sky? Yes, this is the sky. Oh, as Kate points out, some very hot Marines will be coming to collect the toys. So if you like a man in uniform, and who doesn't really, um, come and be there. <laughs> Um, so is, is, is there an emotion behind this painting, Don? Um, existential dread and turbulence. Oh, so 2021. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Essential. Um, can, can we label this painting Omicron? I feel like. <laughs> okay. I saw a, a meme. Somebody posted like, Omicron, I haven't undecorated from Delta yet. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I feel like that's what's going to happen that Omicron is going to come and then we're going to get over it and we're going to have like a month yep. and then, and but, then, and then something's going to but it's going to be called it's going to be called Autobot mm -hmm. yeah maybe COVID Megatron yes it wasn't it was, okay we're all dorks here because Omicron the first thing I think of is is Transformers and right you're early yeah and then then they did the ripoff of the transformers called the autobots do you remember them or am i that old does anybody please please somebody out there in the internet land anyone in the comments know what trevor's talking about autobots um tallulah's got some futurama no i thought the <laughs> autobots were the name of the race that is transformers no that was the decepticons and the Oh God! Oh gosh! Now you okay? It's Autobots. Thanks a lot, Kate. I'm old. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I am. Well, hopefully, um, when Omicron does go into its one month hiatus before the Autobots come, um, hopefully that will happen during the weekend of February 18th, 19th, and 20th. <laughs> Do you want to rain again? <laughs> Um, because we are having an in-person ball again this year, um, and we are so excited. Um, we have been in talks with the with the lovely folks at the Hartford Windsor Marriott, where we have had a very long-standing relationship, and it was truly tragic um, that we weren't able to be there last year. Um, but we had a great time at the Shea um, that were gracious enough to host our virtual coronation. But we're going to be back at the Hartford Windsor Marriott on. Uh, February 18th, 19th, and 20th with our out of town on the Friday, our coronation ball on the Saturday, and then victory brunch that Sunday. Um, early bird tickets are now on sale and they're on sale through December 18th. So only 11 more days to get those early bird tickets. So definitely go and snatch those up while you can. Um, you can find all of the information that you could ever, ever need on our website, ctimperialcourt.org. And then um, that has the ticket link, that has the hotel link, it has the advertising link. And just a note about this year's coronation, um, because of Omicron and Delta and all their lovely sisters, we are asking 
asking um, that everyone show proof of vaccination for entry into any of the events on Coronation Weekend. Mm -hmm. So have those vaccine cards either um, physically or on your phone. And we're looking forward to you coming back to Connecticut and hosting you for an amazing Coronation Weekend. Yes, we don't want another anime con. Yes. One of the best things Kate, Kate taught me this, is take, take a picture of your vaccination status and your ID together. Oh. Yeah, so that way you don't have to whip out your ID on your uh, and your phone. Just take a picture of both of them together. I, easy, easy. Or look it up on your healthcare website on your phone and just screenshot that too. You can do that. that works just, well, because you got to have your ID. I thought uh, we had well, to yeah, so then you have to pull out your ID. Yeah. Yeah, just, so you know, you take a picture like of both that. and then you're all set. But, Hi, um, Bonnie. Finally says, there, there we go. So remember, um, we are raising money tonight for our beneficiaries. $20 buys you a shot for a person. $50 buys a round of shots. As we continue this fabulous painting. Mm -hmm. That is looking very, very good, Don. So that's just the sky. I'm trying to keep it subtle. So like the, the orange is like sort of bleeding out. Okay. The sun is just peeking over the horizon. Yes. Okay. Now, you're, you're, it, it looks like you're using a thicker brush. No, the brush stroke is thicker. So like there's Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. It's all about the stroke, Trevor. So I'll... like you can see the texture there, I suppose. Billy Squire. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's and cool. You know, okay, now that makes sense. You Thank can you. definitely see the texture when you did that. You can see, yeah, that it that it actually does jump off of the canvas a little bit. So now I'm gonna start doing the water. Um it's gonna be the same colors, but just going down and in a more um thin brush stroke, as okay. opposed to flat, like I was doing. I was doing flat, now I'm going to do thin, or, for, or horizontal, I should say. So is water thinner than air? Is that is this why you have a thinner brush stroke? <laughs> Obviously, I do not have an MFA in art, people. <laughs> okay. Yes. There we go. Woo. No. I I have my I have an accountant that does my degree, and I am a geek and I work in IT. So, yep. So now you're only the painting end of it. Like the only painting I do is on a wall. <laughs> I don't even do that, Trevor. It's too much work. <laughs> um, whenever we paint on the wall, literally my um, sister is usually the one that takes control, and Bella Rose will attest to this that she's very OCD about it and so she will do all the taping and will only give you the small little brush so that you can do around the tape and then everything else she's like nope <laughs> not for you oh boy so, just add some water 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 well I confirmed yes. now why is the water is because that's a reflection of the sun. That's why we're getting that color, right? Yes. Okay. Precisely. Um, Don, so where is the shore that the lighthouse is going to be on? It'll be over here. Okay. <laughs> wanted to keep tabs. Because a lighthouse increases the value of the painting by at least $20. Completely. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have mine. Yes. Oh, you have a lighthouse? I don't think yeah. I have a lighthouse yet. It's in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he did the dreaded nautical-themed bathroom. Yeah. Um, so, Trevor, I'm going to put up a photo, and I'm going to let you commentate on it. Okay. All right. This was this past Saturday at Shea Est. The Northeast Ursa Men had their Connecticut Bear contest and there were four amazing amazing contestants and what we have here is me with that big smile behind me with an equally big smile shocked is empress 22 miss frank to the far right is the is the connecticut bear 2122 kyler and then, of course, the other person in the crown is our lovely Emperor 22 Vu. And then there in the middle is your newly crowned Connecticut Bear, Michael Morgan, a.k.a. Morgana Deluxe, a.k.a. My Spouse. 
So, it'll be very, very interesting because, you know, being being a, a drag queen and being on the female line of the Imperial Court, but also being a bear, be holding a bear title, be very, very interesting. So, um, so Trevor, I always thought that there should be like a support group for um, the spouses and family of monarchs and title holders. Um, and I, I know the last time this happened, you were reigning with them. So it was a little bit different. Right. But are there any like tips or tricks that you would have? Or if we have any spouses in the comment section, if you want to yeah. throw like some wise words, um, what would those be? I, I will tell you, like um, having been having been doing this for over over 20 years, Morgana was originally ICP to reign 2002, which was Miranda and David. And I was so new to the whole thing. I was absolutely, I was like, oh my God, I've lost my partner. Blah. <laughs> and um, to be honest, I, I, I learned to be supportive. You become a very good listener. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Don't try to solve problems, just listen. And, um, Enjoy the silence when they're not there. <laughs> oh, I mean, what a difference that will be. I'm going to leave that one there. Um, they should be all at a paint bar. Don should be the teacher. I'm yeah. Don, don't, isn't that what you do? Yeah, I work at a paint bar in Milford. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm not sure who you are, Facebook user. Um, but um, you can actually go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook and register your Facebook account with StreamYard, <laughs> and then I will know exactly who you are. Um, um, and that person um, likely also asked, why am I not painting? Because I'm not good at it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's painting with the emperors. <laughs> um, but Don really does, does the donates. painting job, yes. Donate to Venmo at CT Imperial Court on Venmo. Um, we are doing shots for charity. It's fabulous. I know. We've only done one drink so far. Oh. I've, I've done two. Oh, you have? Um, there we go. There we go. Just, I think it's because people didn't know where to donate, but now that shouldn't be a problem for anyone watching out there on where you can donate. So we're just going to leave that up. Yeah, I mean, I don't want, I don't want my rage against the teddy bear to get warm. It's more <laughs> against the teddy bear. Now, I feel like there must have been a story behind that. Yeah. I feel like there's some childhood trauma, maybe. Maybe. Oh. Um, like Santa didn't provide that Christmas. Yeah. And it's a double IPA, so somebody was really angry if they did yeah. that. Yeah. They, awesome. were, they were bitter, per se. My favorite name for a beer is by Kent Falls Brewing. And it is called playing air guitar in the office while nobody's watching. And that is the name of the beer. <laughs> um, it's more fun that you don't know who's saying things. Actually, that can be fun. Um, so if I had to guess who this user is, um, my guess would be Robert George from Canada because he's always throwing shady things on my live beats. <laughs> yeah. Robert George is so much fun. Um, I believe he's coming to Coronation if um, yeah. if Omicron um, behaves itself. Um, but if you can come to Coronation, um, because we no. know traveling is not for everyone right now, and you still want to send us a little bit of love, um, you can advertise in our program book. Um, so um, let me get that banner out of the way so that y'all can see the full um, advertising promo. Um, but... Um, our program book has full page, half page, quarter page, business card ads. So whatever um, your feeling is. And um, there are also color up charges. So if you want your ad in color, um, you can add $50 to your donation and we can get that color to you. Um, but you can go to ctimperialcourt.org and you will see the advertising link there. Ads are due by January 24th. Um, so you have, if you have a small business that you want to promote, um, you can definitely do it that way. Or if you just have enjoyed Rain 22, too, and want to say congratulations to myself and Frank and our membership, you can uh -huh. do that. Or if you're looking forward to what Bryce and Luna are going to be doing as your Monarch Select, um, you can do a congratulations that way too. Um, so it's half program book for advertisements. And I always say it's also half like yearbook. Um, so hopefully um, you will be able to help us out and submit an ad. Sweet. Ads are always Not Robert George. Got it. Check. Okay, so it's not Robert George. Hmm. 
Facebook user, can we get a hint? Oh my God, that is the best game. All right. Um, so Facebook user, um, are you a member of the Imperial Sovereign Court of All Connecticut? <laughs> I feel like you've played this game before. I we have not played this game before, and I don't know why, because we always have these Facebook users. Yeah. Um Adam Brady just said that they sent $20, and I'm gonna say that that's gonna go to Don because yeah. 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 Oh, thank you, Adam. Oh, remember the court? Remember the court. No, they're a member of our court, Don. Um Ooh. and they asked. So the clues are what they've asked so far. They asked, why am I not painting? And they've said that Don should lead a paint class for us. Well, cheers. Thank you, Chuleta. It's no, it's your Tulula. wife. Chuleta. Chuleta's not your wife, Don. Right, Tulula. You did not reign with Chuleta. Chuleta, Ooh. Tulula. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right, Cat. All right, Cat. We're going to wait for like a minute so that Don can digest his shot that he just took. Wait, Don, did you bring any carbs to eat while you were here? I ate before coming. Don, that doesn't count. What did you eat, Don? It was brown rice and chicken and vegetables. Oh, okay. Wow. That's actually, like, healthy. Yeah. Wow. It surprisingly filled you up. I don't know. No, brown rice is very filling. Um... So we are going um, to have a tasting coming up soon um, for Coronation. So if y'all have ideas on, on what y'all like to eat at Coronation, that's also a fun game where we can play in the comments. So like, what has been the best piece of chicken that you've had <laughs> at Coronation? Can it, can it be fried chicken? <laughs> I always prefer like a, like a fried chicken like cutlet kind of deal because then... Because sometimes when they grill it or or they bake it too long, um, usually the crust at least kind of holds something in for you. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, I feel like the mass production is always what gets you that you're you have to remember you're cooking for like two hundred people, mm -hmm. so there's like a lot of opportunity for it to get over. <clears throat> and I feel like a crust kind of helps it. Yeah. One of my favorites, I mean, aside from my step down, was um, Mike and Brandy too. I mean, Brandy and Mike too did uh thanksgiving dinner mm. oh. and it was they um they it was turkey it was like sliced turkey and then it was stuffing and then green bean casserole it was awesome i love that um and um it's hunger games themed and so cornucopia harvest thanksgiving Ooh. not not a very far like yeah jump to that. um kate likes chicken marsala i love a good sauce so definitely <laughs> Um, a Vermont adornment fried chicken when they didn't give us silverware. What's a Vermont adornment fried chicken? No, at Vermont's uh, back when Vermont was a barony and they had oh. their adornment. See, cat's been cat cat goes back a ways, almost as long as as long as me, if not longer. Um, and at that adornment, it was fried chicken. That's right. Oh my gosh! Wow. Was it like fried chicken as in like the actual bone in like yep. Yep. Oh. what did you have at your coronation, Trevor? We had panko chicken. Oh panko chicken. Yeah, the crust. Love yes, that. exactly. Um, so our mystery um Facebook users say they do love a good chicken cutlet. So that's the next clue in the mystery user game. And with that clue, they love a good chicken cutlet. Now you know sometimes that they they call the the fake the fake the fake the uh, fakies they call them chick, they call them cutlets. Oh my yeah, gosh, look at that lovely! Uh, There's your I would say that's very steampunky firehouse. I mean, Is a, that lighthouse a type lighthouse. Of thing? Wow, like I like that. Come on, lighthouse. So I am moving towards the drag queen direction now that they've said chicken cutlet. For real, um, drag queen. That could be anything. Chicken cutlet. Um, I am going to guess Tiffany Taylor, one of our newer members. Ooh. Oh, Kate said, don't forget, we got a drink. All right. Don, when you're ready. Oh, for a second. Thanks. I need to find oh. my glad. So this is for you, Katerina, and for your fried chicken. Thank you very much for your support. Oh, Katerina, thank you. Very much so appreciate it. She she's come to every single one of these, you know. <gasps> oh my God, you got it, bro! All right. How do comes to all these? One, two, three. Cheers. Ooh. 
Um, Tiffany, I'm just gonna say it's really sad that I knew who you were because you said the words chicken cutlet. <laughs> yeah. But I love you, girl. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of amazing new members this year. Um, we had um, Dolores and, and Caleb come back um, to, to our court membership. Um, we've had um, Crystal Stars, um, who does all of our drag bingo brunches down in Bridgeport. Um, we've had some members cross over from, from other courts with Bella Rose and Savannah and um, George. Mm -hmm. Aiden's new Aiden, Aiden right? um, joined yeah. this year. Um, so shout out to Aiden all of our members. No, I thought it was this year. No, was he joined last during year? the rain and like he was one of the first people to join. This year or last year, they're wonderful. April. They're still cool. Because I had to remember I was doing the email, so I had to like I knew everyone who joined. <laughs> I don't know what Tiffany's talking about anymore, you know. Shady. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, I've got text messages here for the past year. <laughs> I can confirm that Tiff, I can confirm that Oh my gosh, um, but those text messages You can't take a person's rain text messages For any value, alright Right, right. This. Don, will, Don will definitely back me up yes. And I will say text. for you Don phone You can calls. also not take 11pm Phone calls seriously during your rain year <laughs> Please Don't include those as a negative on my character Don was the only per only person I've ever said as president of the board. You do not have to accept a phone call from them after 10 p.m. Yes, it's and I think I think four people in that meeting were like, "Oh wow, this changes <laughs> I, my life." Right. I will say that president of the College of Monarchs, Electra, was very thankful for that proclamation I made. Mm, mm. She still picked up the phone. I know. But she didn't have to. She didn't. No, have she to. didn't. Um, I know Tiffany Taylor just got her Team Twenty Two shirt. Um, and if you were oh, missing out on it, that's they, right. Um, so that's my lovely family. Um, that I conned into to buying all these Team Twenty Two shirts in the first nice. round. Um, but if you would like yours, um, they are back on sale at customink.com slash fundraising slash team 22 CT, um, for about another week or so. Um, and I think a lot of folks are planning to wear these during victory brunch at the end of coronation weekend as kind of the last hurrah for team 22. So if we're going to oh, see your coronation and you want some team 22 swag, you can go to that website. Um, we have t-shirts and we also have hoodies, which, um, if you've never been to Connecticut in the middle of February, a hoodie may be a good option for you. Can you put that in the chat? Yes. Yes, we can definitely put that in the chat. Definitely give people that linkage. Uh, I love my family. <laughs> They're always willing to be like, yeah, what do you need? How many shirts? Perfect. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. And I got to say, like, when for your Monarchs Ball, because your mother came, your sister came, um, the, I mean, the support that you've gotten from your family has been amazing. So, so cool. Yeah, so there will be um, um, probably a table of them at Coronation. And so for one of the acts, um, little spoiler alert for Coronation, folks, um, we're working on kind of like a, a Vietnamese wedding shirt for me. Um, and my mom is so excited, probably because she knows that I'm never going to get married. And she <laughs> no opportunity. Let's, let's get this kid in a Vietnamese wedding shirt. Um, so... <laughs> What usually happens is that, like, when those big events happen, the entire family kind of gets a matching shirt to go with it. So I'm, all the women in my family are going to come in the matching of my shirt um, in, in their kind of Vietnamese wedding shirts, too. So, okay, so explain, what is this, Vu? I've never heard of this before. It's like a, it goes, it's a shirt that goes to the knee, and then you have, like, white pants on it. You also see it sometimes in, like, Indian weddings. Yeah. It's called an Ao Yai. In Vietnamese, um, okay. so they make it um, for men and women. Um, so um, the women will be wearing pretty much all the same ones, and then I'm going to be wearing one that's kind of matching it. Cool. Yeah. So that sounds really neat. Now, if you can just yeah. get Frank to make a dress out of the matches, that matches that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, have you heard about um, our our kind of um, side theme for Friday night? No. What? So someone brought this up to us, and we're going to invite people to do it if they would so like. But um, I think we're going to turn out of town into the night of a thousand caftans. <laughs> um, and 
at Victory Brunch, um, we are going to come up with an award that Frank will keep an eye out for on Friday night, and someone on Victory Brunch Day will receive award for best caftan on Friday night. So start thinking about it, people. Start thinking about your caftans. Yeah, the, I have a caftan that I wore to Bear Week in Provincetown, and let me just say it showed more of me than most people would want to see. I'm not sold on the caftan yet. I believe that it probably is very comfortable. Totally. Um, but yeah, I'm yeah. Not there's sold. a whole lot. There's a whole lot going on there. Yeah, I hear you. Don caftan yeah or nay for you? Um, I need like a. Can you like just bring up a photo of a caftan and put it on screen? <laughs> <laughs> I would need to find one, but Don, I, I can't believe you don't know what a caftan is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just Google it. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I mean, I knew how to spell it with a K. Basically, it's just like a big. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a sheet folded in two, <laughs> with it with the place for your head, and then arms. I mean, it's really the best part about it. I, I would assume if you're on the female line that there's no tucking required, and you can kind of just, as we as they say, free ball. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Tiffany's going to make hers into a dress after coronation. Um, so, which is great because, like Trevor said, it's it's kind of like folded over. So, you can probably unstitch it fairly easily oh and God, still perfect. use all of the fabric. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, Don, um, take us into a close up of what you've done so far. So, so I got the sky going, I got the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the water crashing up on the lighthouse. That's really neat. And it's still very textured. Woo. Yeah, mm -hmm. look at that. Oh, wow, cool. And I like, I, I want to say I created depth, but it's always tricky, you know? That's all right. Like depth of field, I should say. Gotcha. But we'll still work on just a little bit more. And this is a, a almost a replica of the one behind it, right, Don? Oh yeah. So the one behind <sighs> is much bigger. It's two feet by three feet, or two mm. feet by like, or three feet by like three and a half feet. But no lighthouse. But no lighthouse. No, no lighthouse. But I'm gonna add. Let me add some um, pier damage to it. Oh, so the, are those are the the leftovers of the pier. Yeah, huh. and you can see like a dude swimming too. Where? Where? Right. Um. Right there. At the bottom, bottom left. Yeah. That shadowy thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. It, it's not literal, like you said. It's it's got some impressionism there, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're going for. Is that the full size um, painting of the dude swimming behind you, Don? Whoa, whoa! Right, keep going <laughs> left, left, left on the wall, on the yeah. wall to your left. Keep going left on, hanging on the wall. The one holding a that, that 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 person I can't tell gender from the this right story, but back back the other way. Other That's one. A woman. There, there we go. Is wow. this one of your paintings, Don? What? Is this one of your paintings? Yeah, I was um, but it's, it was done from life. I'd never done like a woman before. <laughs> which, explains, which explains everything. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. Um, no. Well, Don, seeing your paintings of men, I can probably say you've not done men before either. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. I have a fabulous man painting right here behind me. How do I switch cameras on these? <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah, there it is. Back camera. There's a beautiful man right there. It, it goes to the gym, wait. Yeah, there, there's um, was a plague happening at that time, Don. What? There, there seems to be like a, a little malnutrition. Oh my god. Okay, Vu, you and I are very biased because we like our men very different. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're focusing on this painting. Um, first of all, we like them legal. Yes. Um, Don, not to put you on the spot or anything, but um, are we going to see any Don Houston originals maybe in a silent auction in February? Oh, well, I haven't been asked. You're the first person. <laughs> well, there you go. 
But I guess I could. Oh, wonderful. Another reason to attend Coronation in February, folks, the Don Houston original. Will that one have a lighthouse? Um, yes. I'm not. <sighs> well, lost my bid. I'm out. Still come to Coronation, folks. It's still a good time. I am sure that Don's painting is one of a myriad of absolutely fabulous items that will be available for the sign-on auction. Because I know Empress 2004, Empress I was just about to say, let's 5, see. right? Cassandra Fior is going to be coordinating that and will be, I am sure that she is working extremely hard in getting some of the best items for our sign-on auction. Um, have we, I actually have, have one of the... I have one of the silent auction items here um, that was donated by Central Optica in the West Hartford Center. Um, they donated a pair of sunglasses from the Native Ken Connect collection, um, and they're designed um, by Adam Porter, Billy Porter's husband, and they are worth about $460, and they're the coolest aviator sunglasses um, out there. So and that's why, definitely going to be on the silent auction block. Why aren't they on your face? <laughs> Um, because my face is a little bit wide for them, but they would fit okay. your face. Oh, cool. And of course, Central Optica, that's LGBT Q mm -hmm. plus owned, correct, right? Yes. And so, trying to keep it in the family. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Um, will Sound Auction also be online for a week beforehand? I'm we working week, on that? So we're working on it to be yep. to, to, to come with details. Yeah, take a drink off that one. That's right. Also, while we're talking about coronation, if you have any questions about coronation, of course, you can go to the website, you can go to the Facebook event. Feel free. You can message me on Facebook or um, email or whatever, because all the links are in there. But also, I want to shout out my two other awesome, awesome co ball chairs that I'm doing this with are Kiki Lucia and Monarch Kiki Lucia, as well as Empress Electra. They're going to be helping us out. So we have like a, I've got a really, really great team. All of the committee heads, super, super great people are going to be working. We are going to provide a, the best experience possible we can along with the Windsor Marriott. Um, you know, we've been with them, let's see, since 2005. So this, I mean, so this is our 15th coronation ball that we're doing with them. And this will be nice. my, this will be, I think, my 13th or 14th ball that I've been doing. So they're a great, great place. Wonderful, wonderful people. The staff is amazing. They really know how to take care of us. And to, just a reminder, if you're booking your room, it is a business hotel. So if you, especially if you're on the female line or if you're on the male line and you have a lot of clothes, closet space is kind of limited. So if you mm -hmm. could possibly bring your own rolling um, rack to hang your clothes on, always appreciate it. Uh, the, and we are an affordable hotel for the price for our ball. We are, I think it's $107 yeah. and yeah, 100, yeah, 100, it's under $110. And if you are flying in it, there is an airport shuttle. So please call the hotel and they can coordinate that with you. If you are taking the train, you can get off the Windsor train station and a short, short Uber or Lyft from there. If you're going into Hartford, please let one of us know. And we'll gladly coordinate some transportation for you because we'd love to see you. And uh, it, lately, weather's been pretty, pretty good. Uh, we haven't had any major snowstorms lately, uh, historically, throughout the year, throughout the years. Uh, so come on down, come on up and come and see us. It'll be a great, great time. Yeah, I know. Um, I've been reaching out some some to some folks, and I've gotten some messages back um, with with some deadline questions or some transportation questions. And we definitely know um, that with with Omicron coming about and other things happening, that um, that some folks are are having lots of questions and are uncertain about some things, sure. um, and need, maybe need some more time to deliberate on things. But um, if you have those questions or concerns, you can definitely reach out to us. Um, and we, the bottom line is, we want you here in Connecticut. Yeah. Um, so anything that we can do to, to help that process along right. um, and get you whatever information you need or, or make um, the accommodation that we need to, um, we're will definitely willing to have those conversations. So reach out to Trevor yep. um, or, or one of our ball chairs and we'll definitely take care of you. Absolutely. But you know what the best thing you can do to be prepared to come to Coronation 23? Get vaccinated and boosted. 
Are we are we boosted? A minus coming I, in a couple weeks. I um, I got boosted. It's fun, like I got the J and J back in March, and then I got the uh, Moderna booster because I heard that that was a really good cocktail. And I will say my arm hurt for about twenty four hours, and I felt kind of like meh. But yeah, did you get sick though or anything? No, I did not. I kind of felt like, meh, I just kind of was tired, kind of yucky for like 24 hours, and then I was all good. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's been, I feel good. So, Vu, when are you getting yours? Um, I'm getting mine on, I think, the 18th, um, because I, so I have Moderna. Um, I'm going to be getting a Moderna booster, and I didn't really have any side effects with the first two. And I heard some some folks have that same situation and then get really hit with a booster. Um, So I just wanted to make sure that I had a a day or two during during that holiday week where things were a little right. slow to make sure that I had enough recovery time without any court events or, or work events going on. Mm-hmm. Don, Don, are you boosted? You getting boosted? Um, okay. I probably will. Uh, I don't know when. Um, only because the guy who got it at AnimeCon was boosted and had two Moderna or whatever it was, and he still got Omicron, so I, I'm feeling a little fatalistic about it. But I'll probably get boosted. Um, well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the vaccine doesn't necessarily prevent um, transmission from occurring, um, sure. but it definitely helps um, with the severity of the symptoms. So I would, I, I'm not a doctor and I won't say that I am, but I would fare to, to guess that the person that got a booster and both the vaccination shots who um, contracted Omicron right, felt right. a whole lot better than if he didn't have the vaccines in him. Exactly, exactly. Kind of like the flu shot. Exactly. Right. Um, Kate Reynolds also got got their booster. So yes, if you got your booster, put it in the comments. We'll shout you out. Mm -hmm. We support it. Totally. Um, And again, for those of you just joining us, this is painting with the emperors. Emperors. Um, And we are raising money for this year's beneficiaries. Um, And yeah, if you want to donate a shot to us, they're just twenty dollars or fifty dollars for a round at. You could do it on Venmo at CT Imperial Court, or you could do it at PayPal at ctimperialcourt.org slash donate. Um, Look at those prompts, Don. Good job. They're Good job. Um, so, Don, are we nearing completion? Or, like, what, what are we close. in currently? Like, what do I mean, uh, I'm happy I got a lighthouse, so I'm good. So is the, the bottom of the painting a shore, or is the lighthouse kind of sitting on, like, an outlet from the left? Um, it could be a shore. Um, I would just I just brightened it up all together just because. Um, what's the words? Just like the yeah. foreground should be brighter because like if the sun is that high. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Miss Frank. Um, but yeah, I mean I need to add a few uh, pier ruins. So give me one second. But we're all a getting close. A pier ruins. Like just I mean, because unfortunately, I that's that's pretty much on on any on any shore lately. Our our pier ruins, which yeah. means take care of our our planet, people. <clears throat> pier ruins are there. Take care of the planet, and hopefully, gas will be less than four dollars. <laughs> no kidding. The the price oh went down where I live a little bit. Yeah, I think the price went down a little bit. Yeah, like ten cents. But like I remember at like peak peak. 2020 and i got super for like 250 a gallon Ugh. and like regular like regular unleaded was like under two bucks and i'm like oh my god this is so great and i went to go fill up my car and it was 55 bucks i was for you yeah for the yeah i drive it i drive a station wagon oh yeah i remember you would get shocked when it would go over two dollars you're like right. oh my god <laughs> and now we're hoping for three fifty. Mm-hmm. Well, like I, I don't know about other people. Like if if, you, if you've gone grocery shopping, you kind of started to notice that things are getting more and more expensive. I went. Um, I could swear like groceries this past week was at least like twenty plus dollars more than it had been in 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 the past. Mm-hmm. And you know you're starting to see like uh, shelves. Shelves are empty. And, and like weird and weird stuff like Gatorade. Like, mm-hmm. like why? I mean, is everybody working out? I don't understand that. 
Um, and pasta was the other one that was uh, that was uh, empty. Very, very strange, but... Yeah, if you have not bought your Christmas gifts yet, I highly recommend that you start shopping for them. If you need to ship your Christmas gifts, I would probably do that very, very soon. Um, if you want them there, their Christmas time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because everything's just taking a little bit slower nowadays that I'm seeing at least. Yeah, I I did a majority of it before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Anything that I wanted to get online, I did before Thanksgiving. Just adding reflections. Um, uh, my empress bought all the pasta because she loves her carbs. And if you want to see her eat all the pasta, I'm sure they can do a fundraiser on Thursday night um, where for every $20 donated, she'll eat another box of pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Make something consumable. <laughs> Um, so, yep, um, once again, we do have a, a part two to this show. It's going to be painting with the Empresses with Monarch 20 Kiki Lucia and um, my amazing Empress, Empress 22, Miss Frank. And they have a surprise guest. Um, and I, I think I can leak that they are a prominent member of our community that they are going to be putting into drag, which I believe for the very first time for this person. Aww. And um, you are going to see um, the, a new drag queen emerge before your very eyes wow oh my god connecticut bear 2022 just walked in the door oh my Hello. goodness come on That's over there come on. careful of the cord you don't want to fall down and hurt yourself i mean now you're now you're a male line title holder ish um but we, ish, we there we go so, so we the question is, is what is connecticut bear bear during so not, not really. i've already figured that out so surprised no, you want me to tell you? No, that? surprise everybody. Surprise, surprise. So stay tuned. Star Heart Bear, look at this. Which, which of course, okay. Now, I've known him for 20 plus years, right? And all of a sudden, when, when Vu and Frank were doing this wonderful MC job and said, contestant number four, Star Heart Bear. And I went, I said, who the f is Star Heart Bear? <laughs> he comes out and... I'm like texting him on the phone. I'm texting him and I went, where the hell did Starheart Bear come from? And the answer is. So I went to Bear Your Soul at Easton Mountain, which is a wonderful experience. And there's a you you pick a bear name. And I went round and round and round. And since hearts and stars are my big thing, I put them together, Star Heart Bear. Bang. Boom. Look at this. You even got that. Look at that. Vu was so quick on that. Wow. <laughs> He's a fast typer. So up, upstairs in the upstairs in the bedroom is the is the sash. I'm the medallion. He sleeps with it. It's really weird, but it's okay. <laughs> Has there been like a modeling session yet with with the sash and just the sash? <laughs> what, did, what did he say? Are you gonna do a modeling session with just the sash? Oh my! On that note, I'm gonna go put the, my swim stuff in the dryer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I noticed a lighthouse. Yes, Don. Oh my God. Oh, Beautiful. Did a great job. Have you bid on it yet? No, because we haven't started that yet. Oh, okay. Do you want to bid on it? Hearts and rainbow and stars and horseshoes and blue moons. Rainbows and blue moons. Right. Oh. The and a four-leaf clover and a red balloon. I got you. My that is all the good luck things all together. Some lucky charms. Ugh. I never liked Peter Storm? Yep. I, I don't like lucky charms, charms either. Like, I'm share? sorry. I... I when I grew up, we didn't have all these kind of crazy cereals. And, like, literally, it was cornflakes, checks, and Cheerios. That was it. The marshmallows are just too chalky for me in the Lucky Charms. Yeah. Well, I, I, Lucky Charms? I love Lucky Charms. Of course you do. I was, I was like, pretty simple Frosted Flakes. Yep. Well, see, Grandma, no, man, you guys are sure that yeah. Um, I, oh wow! Okay, so now I get the pier. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a destroyed pier. And Don, based on this conversation, I'm now going to say those are fruity pebble skies. <laughs> 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 They've got the color of that. Yeah. Um, should we start bidding soon? Yeah, we can start bidding. I mean, um, yeah, and and we can just let it roll how it's going to roll. Um, so I. Um, I'll put a bid in of twenty five dollars. I'll get the bowl. I'll get started. How's that? 
Okay, so we're starting at twenty-five dollars for this. It's eleven by fourteen, oil on canvas. No oh, shit, Morgan. She likes it, so I have to be paying more for that. Twenty-five dollars. Oh. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Is that is that? Ooh, Kate. Wow. Oh. oh. So we're bidding on this fabulous painting. It's going to our lovely beneficiaries who are a place to nourish, APNH, um, the New Haven Pride Center, as well as the Suicide Prevention Hotline in Connecticut chapter. Um, for this fabulous painting, it's 11 by 14, so it's like, see a hand for scale. <laughs> <laughs> got a, I gotta say, Don's got a very big hand, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that covered a lot of that canvas for for eleven by fourteen. Don, very nice job. Oh well, you know what they say about big hands? They need big gloves. Very big gloves. It's very annoying. It is very annoying, especially for court gloves. I I need for all the people. Um, this is a public service announcement for all of the vendors that sell court gloves on the circuit. Um, uh, I need you to have a bigger size. The, <laughs> one, need, tag the, the one size fits all does not fit all. I need one size fits most. Fits most. I I need the one that's above the most. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> Kate, put me down for forty. Where's Katerina? <laughs> Katerina owns more of your paintings, I think, than pretty much everybody, and we do thank her patrons. She is. She's amazing. She's fabulous. She um, is. Brandy owns more. <laughs> it's up to forty, honey. Um, Brandy is recovering um, from from a medical procedure that she just posted. So we wish all the best um, yes. to Empress yes. One Nine and Seventeen, Brandy. Um, quick recovery for you. We're all thinking about you and um, get better soon. And I know she, um, she's going to be ready and marrying uh, by the time February comes around, and we can't wait to see you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh gosh, Don, you're a bully. You are <laughs> you're such a bully, <laughs> Katarina. We appreciate the bid. Thank you so much for your support. You don't have to listen to him, but appreciate the bid. Don't listen to Vu. Mm. Ah. Katarina is amazing. Um, did we go over everything and like the? The coronation and all that stuff. Um, let me check. I think we did go over everything. And then, so tomorrow night is a board meeting if you wanted to attend. But then Thursday night is painting with the empresses, and they're going to be painting a face. They're going to be painting a face. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be using oil based or acrylic paint for that, but um, they'll be painting a face. I have a feeling somebody's buying stock in Glidden. Ah. I'll go up to 50. So now I have Trevor at 50. This fabulous painting original. Honestly, I think I've... It's like come a long way. Like, the... Yeah, definitely. Okay. You know compared what? You know what? what hang, doing... I, I, hang on. Let me get the other one. Yeah, like, compared um... to what it has been, like I feel like like joining this MFA program has like had me go like from like 10 to 100. Um, yeah, Don, I will say, um, I will say that um, for your 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 last year's reign, all the paintings were were very nice and they were beautiful. But I felt like they were one dimensional, and I felt like this one really does pop uh -huh. out in a very different. Way. Yeah, like, like it's purposely a painting. Yeah, unfortunately, it's hanging on a wall, and I'm not going to pull it off right now. But. <laughs> Uh, no turpentine in tomorrow? Come on. That's no fun. If if we made a donation of ten dollars, could we use some turpentine? <laughs> right. So like I'm 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 very interested because as the emperors, we're sitting here drinking and we can do this for you know for, for charities. I'm very interested to see what the empresses are going to pull out for like because the more they drink, that's gonna make oh, the Are the empresses doing shots? I we don't know. know. We're, they, I think they're gonna surprise us with what they do, but um, yeah, I mean, especially with the way Don paints, you know, a little fidget here, a little fidget there. That's just the, the way the ocean moves. <laughs> but also, too, like, he's going to finish this up after we're done. Yeah. So he right, could right. sober up tomorrow morning and kind of make it all pretty. I don't know about Frank and Kiki. I mean, 
Like, I I wouldn't look like them with, a, with an eye pencil that close to my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a little pencil blend here. Little pencil I want to see for the rest of the year. <laughs> Airbrush is your friend. Yes. Uh, powder blend. Um, so I'm going to say um, uh, we're going to do a magic number of 810. And then that'll give us five minutes to, to do some thank yous and some wrap ups. And, and we're going to give folks the rest of their evening because we know that, you know, you probably have something on Netflix that you want to watch. Um, I heard of, um, have either of you saw Single All the Way or whatever movie that people on Netflix? Apparently it's the next gay um, Christmas class. Oh, that's, um, uh, oh God, I, yes, 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 I, I've heard about that. Did you watch the the Spy cartoon one? No. That one was actually oh, pretty oh. good. Um, is that with, um, what's his name? Um, from uh, Will and Grace. Well, and Grace, yes, 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 Sean. That is actually kind of cute. That's a uh, gay it's force. Very wholesome. G force. G force. G force. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty wholesome and like it's, it's like some it parody, but it's really it's actually really good and like representative of the LGBTQ community. Totally enjoyed yeah, that. The sure. monster movie or the gerbil movie. Which movie? Wasn't G force about gerbils? No, but but if you're old enough, you can remember there were stories about Rod Stewart and Richard Gere about that. Um, there was an anime called G Force. Yes. Um, by the way, also, by the way, the the, the, the Transformers ripoff was called GoBots. Just in case you were wondering. Uh, GoBots. It took us an hour, folks, but we finally got to GoBots. We found it. We found it. <laughs> Have any of you seen Spencer? Have I seen what? No, Spencer. Spencer. No. Oh, it's that. With that's one with Kristen. Um, Kristen Stewart. Yeah. Who? It's really who good. We just watched it last Christian night. Stewart. It's so okay. Um, I'm really hoping that y'all have seen this movie, um, so that y'all can give a a balanced critique with me. Um, House of Gucci. Have we seen? Yes. No, I'm dying. Lady Gaga is so good. So is Adam Driver. Al Pacino's in it. Jeremy Irons. It's like. Oh. Yes. Um. So I think you have to. I think Trevor, you're actually gonna really like it. Um. But I think it's um definitely like a niche movie that I feel like I didn't get all of the references where I feel that Trevor and probably Don would have gotten more of it than I did. Okay. Just in like the styles and the era and. Um, kind of like cultural references. I felt like there was a lot of that in there. I okay. There's comments. I am looking forward to that. I'm hoping, so I'm hoping the Oscar battle is between Lady Gaga and Christian Stewart. Like, I want them to be battling. Well, not battling. They'll, they'll both be so nice. But like, them for best actress, that would be so cool. Both of them. Now, on, on Netflix also, there is the Diana Musical. Mm. Diana Musical. Yeah, um, Diana the Musical. Diana the Musical is on Netflix. That is so. So you want to go like full gay, full <laughs> Diana? There you I'm go. Just, I'm just seeing um, the musical car crash scene. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. and we're driving, <laughs> and we're turning, and we're going, and it's eight <laughs> ten. So we are bidding any final bids for this fabulous painting that we are donating to charity. Or as Trevor wanted, as of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1. I think Trevor won. Congratulations. All right. Yes, Kate, I was really trying not to say it, but yes, older people will get House of Gucci better. Shut up. What did you say? Older people will get House of Gucci better. So you got to realize I have to repeat everything that that you say because my because Starheart Bear can't hear it right now. Oh, so congratulations well, Trevor to this Awesome, this awesome. That is great. Can't wait cuz we just we're redecorating our den and uh this will be a great great thing to put on the on the picture shelf. Can't wait. Awesome. Well, Trevor, they are CT Bear 2022, so you're just going to have to um get used to catering a little bit. All right, well. <laughs> welcome to my world. But yeah, uh, thank you all for joining us, whoever is still watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Yeah. So yeah. Um, if you um, want to give us um, a donation still, um, you can still do so. I mean, we won't be doing shots for you anymore, but um, you should just give because there are three amazing beneficiaries that saves the lives of people every single day. Once again, they are APNH, A Place to Nourish Your Health, the New Haven Pride Center, and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention Connecticut chapter. Um, we are raising boatloads of money. We have a board meeting tomorrow, and I took a sneak peek at the treasurer's report prepared by our lovely Kate Reynolds that have been tracking tips for us all evening and doing an amazing job. And it looks yeah. like we've raised um, a lot of money so far, and we got plenty of events left throughout the year um, to give you an opportunity, and we're going to have a great time on the last weekend of the rain at the Coronation 23, the Victor's Ball. Um, come in your most victorious self, come in your most hunger game self, um, early bird packages and next week. So definitely get those or reach out to us if you need some help with that. Um, and we hope to see you there. All right. Um, Dan, you. Um, it sounds like lots of fun. Don, any, Don are you going to be at Coronation? Of course. I had Kate even hold me some tickets because I might not be able to buy it until January. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Starving artist. You know, you know um, when the when the when the grad school grants finally hit for right. <laughs> is Drew coming to coronation? Oh yeah, he'll be there. Oh perfect. So my lovely boyfriend Drew will be there. <laughs> Two words you never thought you'd hear together, Don and boyfriend. I didn't and with that, this is the great thing to be at first. <laughs> <laughs> Before it gets really shady really quickly, <laughs> it's done. But the, thank you so much for joining us tonight. This has been like the sixth painting with the emperors. Um, we donated to this fabulous painting to charity. We did shots for charity. Um, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Um, and have a lovely evening. This has been the Imperial Sovereign Court of All Connecticut wishing you a happy Christmas and happy holidays. <laughs> All right. Wonderful, wonderful. And once again, join us back here again on Thursday night, 7 p.m., where our empresses, Monarch 20, Kiki Lucia, and Empress 22, Miss Frank, take over for yes. Painting with the Empresses, the first of the series. Oh. Good night, folks. Good night, night. Good night.